Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Strong winds to start our day with gusts over 50 miles per hour. Very early as that final line of showers came on through. We had a peak gust of 51 miles per hour here in Evansville. But those winds have died down and the weather is quieting down just in time for the upcoming weekend. Live first warning Doppler radar is dry. We had a few light showers in the northern fringe of the tri-state earlier this afternoon, but those have faded away. Our next chance of rain won't be in here until early next week. But a lot of rain fell, especially across the northern northwestern half of the tri-state over the past 36 hours. We were just under an inch here in Evansville, but you go just a little farther to the northwest, you get into these shades of green. That's our system estimating at least an inch of rain. The yellow is two inches, the orange three inches, and that's estimated just northeast of Mount Vernon, while Newburgh was well under an inch, as was Henderson, even up in the northwest corner of Vandenberg County, our system estimating about three inches of rain. So we're done with the rain for a while, but boy, what a busy winter it has been. We've been averaging one big system every week this season. And of course, today it was the strong, windy weather that we had, especially during the morning hours. Last week, we had that sleet and freezing rain combo that caused all the issues. The week before that, one to three inches of wet snow across roughly the northwestern half of the tri state. That was the 24th and 25th of January. The week before that, we were back in the warm winter mode where we had a severe weather threat of marginal risk that did not materialize, but we had some storms threatening during the overnight hours. The week before that, we did get severe hailstorms very early in the morning and the week before that 3rd of January we had a severe threat including that tornado warning down in Muhlenberg County at around 4 a.m. but fortunately no touchdown with that particular system you go back into December day after Christmas we had about one to two inches of snow and all of this started with that blast of bitter cold air that came in a couple days before Christmas freezing all of our water pipes and getting this very active pattern underway and it looks like we may add to this list next week with the system that's coming through on Thursday. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But right now, live view from the east side of Evansville, our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera. Nice and quiet as is downtown Evansville on our Superior Ag tower camera with the temperature still at 44. Clouds haven't broken up much, but the wind's much lighter out of the west-northwest at around 5. Pretty much mid-40s area-wide, but as the clouds break up a little bit overnight, we'll drop into the mid-30s, but that's still not too cold, certainly for this time of the year. Well, no severe weather today down to our south. That was all yesterday when there were tornadoes down in Louisiana and Mississippi. Snow was the bigger story on the cold side of this system. That's fading away in the upper Great Lakes. A little secondary system moving, pushing into the panhandle of Texas with some snow. That's going to stay down to our south. We'll pick up some cloud cover from that tomorrow but nothing will be falling from the sky as temperatures just get back to normal. And you can see the clouds now breaking up a little bit. That trend will continue overnight, especially in western Kentucky. So tomorrow morning, maybe a little sun early. Best chances would be in our southern counties. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures getting back to normal. Let me back that up again. Highs generally low to mid-40s, forecasting 43 to 44 here in the metro and not nearly as windy as it was today. Now, later in the afternoon, some clearing will work in from the north Northwest, 4 p.m. You can see that clearing line up to about Fairfield and Vincennes. We might see a little bit of sun north of the river before it sets, but the clearing trend continues tomorrow night. Beautiful weekend on the way. We start Saturday morning in the mid-20s, but mostly sunny skies, and a slow warming trend gets underway. Mid to upper 40s on Saturday afternoon. A few high clouds come in from the west for Saturday night, but that's about it. Sunshine continues on Sunday, as will the warm-up, with temperatures on Sunday afternoon topping out around 50 degrees under mostly sunny skies. So a really nice weekend is on the way. So variable clouds, not too cold, mid-30s overnight. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. A little sun early to the south and a little sun late to the north, low to mid 40s and sunshine on Saturday, a high temperature up to 46. Sunshine Sunday, 52. Partly cloudy Monday and 54. First system next week looks relatively weak. Scattered showers developing Tuesday afternoon, ending Tuesday night, 55 for the high. We soar well into the 60s on Wednesday, setting the stage for a stronger system coming in on Thursday that at least has the potential for some heavy rain and thunderstorms, but too early to tell if severe weather will be a factor. Keep us updated on that. Thank you, Wayne.